How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are finally back with episode six of the Kansas City Royals franchise. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about today's episode and what we should do for future episodes. So, as you guys can see, we're kind of in a very crucial time of the se season. We have a half game lead on the Cleveland Indians. And when you look at this month, we have a very, very important month right here. We have three series against the Cleveland Indians, one against the Tigers, and a four-game series against the Chicago White Sox. So if we have a really good month, we could turn this division upside down. We have a really good lead in first place, and we're potentially a playoff team. And it's looking like we could be a playoff team this season, which makes me think we need to make a little shift or a little change up in the, the lineup because there's a certain player that's struggling a lot. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that really quick. Ryan O'Hearn is just, he's not, he's not doing well. He's hitting 211. You know, his overalls going down. He's really struggling this year. And Lucas Duda is just not a first baseman. I want sticking around. He's probably done after the season. He's not going to be the first baseman for the future. I think if we really want to be a playoff team, we need to find a first baseman who's going to help us make playoff baseball. So with that being said, today's poll, I'm going to leave you guys with a cliffhanger, is going to be at the end of the video. So if you guys want to see what the poll is going to be, it's actually a trade. So to get involved, make sure you stick around till the end of the video and wait for the poll. So that's going to be at the end of the video. You guys are going to accept or reject a trade. And in the last video, we talked about uh, minor league featured episodes like if you guys wanted to see that you guys did vote on that and what we're gonna do today is um that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do a a minor league episode we're gonna play two games a triple a and a double a game but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do quick manage half the game and then we're gonna play half the game and then for double a we're gonna quick manage half the game and then play half the game so that way we still get like basically one full game but we're we're splitting it up between triple a and double a that way we can kind of get an idea of how players are doing um if some players are looking exciting if some players are already starting to play well so just kind of kind of have some fun with it so we're gonna start with uh double a um Actually, no, we're not because this game's already been played. Oh, that's that's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit unfortunate. We're gonna start with AAA then. We're gonna start with AAA and then maybe sneak in this game um, in the next, in like at the second half of the episode. Alrighty, so to start the game, this is how we're lining up. We got Yolbert Sanchez, our free agent signing, uh, Ches Chester, Chesler. Cuthbert, Cuthbert, um, Brandon Phillips, Eric Mejia, Andrew Sussick, um, Featherstone, Gutierrez, Artiega, and Gore. So let's see how we get started. Okay, nice little walk. A pop-up. Brett Phillips is up. A player I definitely want to keep my eye on. He potentially could get moved up to the bigs very soon. As I say that, he strikes out. So after the leadoff, um, batter gets on base. Nothing happens. Let's take a look at their team. They have Miles Straw. Jordan Alvarez, A.J. Reed, Kyle Tucker. That's a strong team um, for the Astros AAA affiliate. But you know what? Our pitcher does very well. One, two, three. So again, leadoff runner reaches. All right, we got first and second with one out. And a double by Artiega makes it a two-run game. So that's awesome to see. And it gets even better. We make it three runs. And then Brand, uh, Brett Phillips fails to drive in a run. But that's okay. We got a three-run lead here. I'm thinking we hop in around the sixth inning, um, have a little fun with it at the end of the game, see how things go. But already, the game's already kind of getting getting to the point where it could get out of hand quite quickly, especially since we got first and second here in the third. Couldn't score that time. Okay. But our pitcher is pitching very well so far. I think it's Foster Griffin. He's doing quite well. Brad Phillips, 0 for 3. Mm, not good. No runs scored again, heading into the fifth. They brought in Kent Emanuel. All right, let's see how we do. One, two, three, inning again. Hmm. All right, we're going into the sixth. Let's enter the game in the sixth. I feel like six, seven, eight, nine. That's a good, good point 
to jump into the game. So you guys can see we are in second place in the division, four and a half games behind the leaders, 37 and 46 on the year. You guys can see our rankings in AAA, kind of towards the top in average and home runs. Pitching seems to be letting the team down quite a bit. So maybe that's something we're going to have to look out for. But Kelvin Gutierrez um, actually just got called up in real life to the Royals and has been doing quite well. I'm thinking he's hitting over 300 so far in his big in the bigs and ropes it to left. And that's going to be a base hit. Kelvin Gutierrez, a player who could potentially be called up to our team as well. He can play thir third. He's got some good. Um, he's got like mid 50s. Hitting stats, I believe, and uh, he's also got really good defense. So if we ever need a backup third baseman, Gutierrez might be the guy. Alrighty, 0-1 count to the shortstop. Let's see if we can keep the inning alive here. It's going to be a ground out. I'm going to toss it over to second. So even though we get the leadoff runner on, no runs score heading into the bottom of the sixth. They're going to have the top of the lineup up. Alrighty, the lefty Forrest Griffin is our pitcher let's see if we can get a good start to the inning hit to left field brett phillips is out there he's got good speed good fielding and he's able to make the play fastball just misses hmm thought maybe we would have got the call in the inside corner we're gonna go to the change and is this gonna drop diving play misses the ball not the best not the best uh, play defensively. And he's going to get into third with a stand-up triple. The right fielder took kind of a bad approach to the ball. And Jordan Alvarez gets a stand-up triple. I thought, you know, I saw the, the, the right fielder kind of take a poor step. I'm pretty sure it's Terrence Gore out there. And he's not able to make the play. Alrighty, so 1-1 one, one count to AJ Reed, the first baseman. Nice four-seamer inside part of the plate. Let's see with the cutter down low. Can we get him swinging? And he's going to hit it up the middle for a base hit. Fielding mistakes lead to the run. And probably should have just kept the ball in front of us rather than trying to go for the, you know, the amazing play in right field. That leads to a run. And now it is a two-run ball game. Good curveball down in the zone. 1-2 count. Probably our starter's last inning. Get some swinging. And there we go. Top seven coming up. I think we're going to have Cuth Cuthbert, Cuthbert and then Phillips and Mejia. Maybe we can get a run back. Alrighty, 1-1 one, one count here. Circle change. Get some swinging. 1-2 count. Come on, Brad Phillips. Let's get a base hit here. Can it get through? 79 speed. No, it's an out. Ground out. Decent play by the shortstop. I thought maybe it was going to squeeze up the middle. Um, our pitcher's getting a little tired. We're going to bring in Kyle Zimmer. and see how he's doing on the air. 26 games, a sub-1 ERA. So he's looking like one of the better relievers for the team. Alrighty, they have one of their top prospects in Kyle Tucker up. And as I say that, he's going to get a gap shot. 72 speed. Alright, let's get to it. Throw it in. Keep it at a double. Not the best of starts for the inning. Runner is going to advance. Hit to second base. Easy play, but... Man, guy in scoring position now. We can't let this run score. Decent fastball up in the zone. Okay. See if the slider down and away gets him chasing. Unfortunately, it doesn't. And that's going to be the run. Just a ground ball to first. Really no play to be made besides the step on the bag. And it is now a one-run game. Maybe it was just better for us to quick manage it rather than taking over because we've made it a kind of a close game now. All 
and that is going to be the third out. Umberto Artiega flies out to left. Pretty quick inning for us, unfortunately. And let's go with the curve down in the dirt. Doesn't go after it. Works a full count now. Come on, let's hit our spots. Nice change up outside part of the zone, and he goes with it. Hits it into left. Oh, man, I thought we had him. That's just a good piece of hitting right there. Yeah, I don't know why the shortstop kind of shaded more towards the bag, but it allowed the allowed the runner to move over or actually get the base hit. But center field should make the play here. He does. Gets camped out under it. And that's the end of the eighth. No run score. Last inning. Let's see if we can get it something started. Maybe get a little rally. Maybe some late inning magic. Taron scores up. His speed on first. Even second. Maybe even a triple, you know? Let's let's get a speed on the base paths. And that is a rip up the middle. You know what? We're gonna keep it at a single, but 94 speed on first. That is that's clutch right there. Yolbert Sanchez, one for three on the day. I kinda wanna steal with Gore, but at the same time, gotta be smart. Sanchez keeps it. Oh, okay. So the shortstop kept it in the infield. Otherwise, that's going to be first and third with no outs. But hey, I'm going to take it. First pitch swinging gets the base hit. One out. A double play would be horrendous right now. And it all comes up to Brett Phillips. Lefty lefty matchup. Hmm. No double play, please. So what does he do? He hits into a double play. Oh, he goes to first. 360 no scope throw. What kind of throw is that? Why not just make the simple the simple throw? It looked like mid throw. He was like, "Oh, I can't make the play at second. Let's throw it to first. But the runs the run scores. It is a two-run game. Ground out and it is a two-run game. We're going to bring in the closer. That's a lie. We don't have our closer warmed up. How's he doing anyways? 4-6 ERA. You know what? We'll, we'll bring in Sparkman. See how he does. If he does well, we'll bring in, and uh, we won't need the closer. So let's see how things go here. Sparkman's in. That's not a good start. Base knock. Mm. Almost, a, almost a great play at first, but first, first batter reaches Kyle Tucker, the outfielder. Corbin Martin's up, hitting 71 on the year. That's that's not good. That's definitely not the best. Alrighty, 0-2 count. We're going to the slider. Catches a little bit more of the zone than I wanted to. And a, a guy who's hitting under 100 takes that inside out and gets a base hit. Are you serious? Oh, man. We may have to get the closer ready. Alrighty, first and second. No outs. Robinson's up, who's 0 for 3 on the day, so if we can keep that going. 0 for 4 would be really nice right about now. Alright, 1 2 count. Gotta be smart here. Let's go to the curve. Keep it in front. He doesn't really keep it in front. Can we get him at third? Ah, oh, that wasn't even like a bad pitch, and just the reactions. Just weren't the great. Oh, man. Second and third now. No outs. Was it a full count now? Yikes. We're going to go back to the fastball, though. Get him swinging. Do we let this go foul? We let this go foul. Because that's a run otherwise. That's fine. I'd rather have that because that would have been a run. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Played that perfectly. High fastball, second baseman's getting out there. All right, turn around, throw it home. Let's not have any funny business. Two outs now. And who's up? Miles Straw hitting 333 on the year. Just misses with the curve. Ooh. Let's go back to the fastball. It's been working pretty well. Ooh, got him check swinging. 1-1 one, one count. Slider now. Low in the zone, gets him in front of it. And it is a 1-2 count. It all comes down to this pitch here. Two seam down in the zone. Gets him looking. 
And what a comeback by Glenn Sparkman to get the get the out, get the out, get the save situation going. That was perfect. Had second and third and gets three straight outs. Whoo! What a ball game. Got a little close there. Got a little dicey after we decided to hop into the game. But that's that's a, that's an okay little look into some of the players at to the triple A level. Um, Foster Griffin, I thought, pitched well, you know, quick managing and kind of seeing his stats. He actually looks like a decent player. So let's hop into the um, the triple A roster and let's just see how some of the players are performing because I definitely want to keep my eye on some players, see how they're doing. Alrighty, so Yolbert Sanchez is definitely a player I'm keeping my eye on. He's hitting 273 at the triple A level and he's already a 66. So I'm hoping... You know, I know he's still young. He's 22. He's got good defensive stats already. I'm kind of hoping by the time he's 24, we could get him into the major leagues, get him involved into the team. Um, Frank Schwindel or Schwindel wasn't able to play, but he's looking like a decent little first baseman that we could have for the future. Um, he is 26 though, so I'm kind of hoping that he soon starts to start hitting the ball a lot better um, and actually, well, not hit the ball better, but his stats get a little bit better. Um, hitting wise and he starts to increase in overall a lot quicker and then obviously the next player I want to really keep my eye on is Brett Phillips 250 average um, 67 overall you know it, the hitting stats aren't there but that fielding he's kind of reminding me of like an Alex Gordon he won't necessarily hit amazingly but he's got really good defensive stats and then obviously the last guy Kelvin Gutierrez you know, arm strength is there, okay fielding, okay speed. The hitting stats, a little on the low side, but he's another player I want to keep my eye on um, for potentially bringing him up to the bigs if we ever need just another fielder um, or even a bench bat. I, I think he has, like, high 70s potential, so he definitely could be a good platoon player for us. Alrighty, heading into the game, we're taking on the Arkansas lineup, and I think they're... Ah, oh man, I forgot who they're part of. For, or like who their uh, major league affiliate is but so far first and second with only one out a run does come in to score and that is not the best of starts so let's see how we do Dominguez strikes out unfortunately we got first and second with one out bases loaded now and unfortunately no run comes to score so that's not the best of starts um, but we got first and second okay a run comes in thanks to Gasparini's single two runs come in or yeah two runs come in thanks to what was it rivera's double and now we got jason dominguez up and he grounds out so 0 for 2 not the best but scott blew it gives us another run so four runs this inning are we done yet bases loaded doesn't look like it Ooh, melendez brings in another two and a six run inning for us that's that's perfect gives us the lead and now we have a four-run lead after they score one. A double to start the inning. One run thanks to Blewitt's RBI single. And uh, so far, so good in this game. No run score there. Perfect. A walk. And no run. No runs that time, but we still have that five-run lead. Um, Trevor Oaks. I see his stamina is a little low. Let's see if we can get him through this inning. He gets through it. Perfect. Single. Double play, yikes! And Dominguez is 0 for 3. I accidentally went with another inning, so we're gonna we're gonna let it go. It actually worked out for us. First and second for Melendez, and he hits a three-run bomb. Melendez is another prospect I have my eye on. He's a catching prospect along with Mabry's Valoria that I think will be fantastic to take over for uh, Salvador Perez once Perez is done um, or retires or something like that. They have great fielding. And um, they're, they have okay bats for where they are in uh, their career. So let's make a pitching change heading into the sixth. I was supposed to play that inning. So you know what? Let's enter the game going in the seventh, eighth, and ninth. All right, so since we don't have any pitchers warmed up, we're going to let Oaks pitch for like one batter or so. See how things go. Um, and hopefully it doesn't get out of hand. We do have an eight-run lead. So things have gotten a little bit a little out of hand for our opponents. But obviously, I don't want to see, you know, one of our pitchers get absolutely roughed up because he has no stamina. So hopefully, we can uh, 
get him out of this inning quickly without having to throw too many pitches or maybe even bring a reliever in. So top seven, one, two count. Orlando Calixte fouls it off. Hmm. Let's go to the changeup. One, two count here. Let's get the leadoff runner out. Ooh, he swung. Ring him up. Oh, come on, Blue. You got to be kidding me. All right, 2-2 two, two now. We're going to the high fastball. Ooh, get some swing in. There we go, one out. All right, we're bringing in one of our better relievers, Andres Machado. 3-2-1 ERA is not too bad. Two saves, 25 games. Average for both lefties and righties is about 250. So let's, uh, let's see what he's got. I think he's a 67 overall for double-A. That's actually pretty good. So he's a, he's a player I'm going to keep my eye on, see how, he, how well he develops. As I say that, oh, just out of the reach of the second baseman. Toss it over to first. Not going to be in time. Hmm. As I say that, he gives up a base hit. Let's, let's not walk him. Let's not get any runners on. And uh, that's, a, that's a well hit ball, but our left fielder is going to make the play. And that is the inning. So seventh, top of the seventh is easy. We got the ninth spot and then the top of the lineup coming up for our half on the day. So let's see if we can change that. And is that going to hang up too much? It is. It's a line drive to center. And unfortunately, one, two, three inning. All right, we're missing our spots by quite a bit, which is not a good sign. But if we can get this out, I'm not going to care. He throws it right down the middle. Shortstop. Who's our shortstop? Because he made that play look way too difficult. All right, turns out we have a first baseman at shortstop. Don't know how that's worked all game, but that's how it's, that's how, that's what's working, I guess. That is a bomb. Whoa. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's check out Dominguez's arm. It doesn't look that great, and uh, that ball just absolutely ricocheted off the wall way by everybody i thought you know i thought our right fielder would have been like oh yeah cool let's just catch it but he was like nah i like a good i like a good triple for my opponent that's a strike sir ump that's a strike let's go back to it let's see if we get him going hits it to the shortstop again can he make the play man he may not be a shortstop but if we keep training him there he could, he could be a gold glover maybe in the future, but uh, no, I'm just joking. But hey, he made all three plays. Who would have thought? And it's going right back to right field. He's been throwing it outside portion of the plate. Two straight right <laughs> flyouts to right. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. All right, we got our first baseman who's been playing shortstop all day. He's hitting he's close to 300, I want to say. He's actually doing quite well. Two for three on the day. We got an 0-1 count now. All right, 1-1. One, one. Two outs. Can he keep the inning alive? And it doesn't look like it. It's going to be a line out to second baseman. To the second baseman. And we're heading into the top half of the ninth. And uh, we're just going to let Machado go. He's actually been pitching quite well. Still got a good amount of stamina. As I say that, um, that he's been pitching quite well. He throws a fastball right down the middle. Not the, not the best. And a slider right down the middle. But we got Jason Dominguez. First play or first action. We get to see him um, make a play. That was a horribly constructed sentence. Jason Dominguez. We get to see him make a play. We see him in action for the first time. Alrighty, 0-2 count to Calixte. Can we get him with the slider down and away? We don't. So, ah, man, this slider down and away hasn't been working out too well for us, but we're going to go back to it. 
actually that's gonna go inside so 2-2 two, two now let's just go to the fastball see if we can get the out here get number two in the ninth he's gonna hit it to Duenas again throws it over to first makes the play man this guy he's uh he's proven his worth at shortstop change up way too way too much of the plate yikes um we're going back to that slider that hasn't been working all night but this time it catches the inside part of the plate he's gonna throw it over to first and that is the ball game so again a couple players were okay i kind of want to look at their stats a little bit more it is double a so it's kind of early in their careers to be like they're mlb ready but Jason Dominguez is looking more like a fielding um, outfielder for us, like a better fielder, which I was kind of hoping he would do well hitting-wise. So we're going to have to monitor his progression. But that was kind of an inside look. I may not be the most exciting of episodes for the Royals this time around. I wanted to just kind of test out the AAA, AA kind of aspect of things. Alrighty, so now comes today's poll, probably the part you guys have all been waiting for, and is going to be for a first baseman, like I've mentioned. The players that we are going to be trading is Martin Maldonado. He's just not hitting the ball well, and we have plenty of prospects who can come up and be the backup catcher in the Major League team. The next player we're going to be adding to this trade is Chris Owings, another player who is struggling at the plate. 225, it's just not good enough. We have another player in Brett Phillips who can be that backup for us in the outfield. And the next player we're going to be adding, the final piece to this, is actually one of our better pitching prospects in Eric Scogland, who in real life is actually suspended for PEDs. Um, so I kind of feel like he's not going to be part of the Royals' future in real life for a, a little bit of time. And we have plenty of pitching prospects here that I feel like if we trade this one away, we'll be just fine. Next up is the player that we need to acquire. And that is going to be the switch hitting first baseman for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Josh Bell. Another player I'm going to be adding just, just so that we feel like we're getting a little bit more rather than having that yellow bar stick up too much in the trade is Steven Brault. 26 years old, he's a relief pitcher. The stats aren't that great, but at least we're getting something that kind of evens out the trade a little bit more. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Yes or no? do we make this trade i'd even be fine keeping it like this and then look at that player we're getting he's 77 overall 26 years old switch hitter whose stats are going up quite quickly you like he's already got seven power versus lefties three power versus righties this season he's got b potential um he's hitting 279 on the year he's had 13 home runs 48 rbis he's looking like he's going to be a great first baseman and he slots into the team perfectly we can bring up a catcher from the minor leagues we can bring up brett phillips for the outfield we're perfectly fine in pitching i really like this trade so the poll question for you guys do we accept the trade yes or no and you'll find out in the next video guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always i will catch you on the next video peace <laughs>